Hey guys, how you going? Spanish Gem 669 Friday review for the House of Horror. The film I'm reviewing for you this Friday is a horror film from Italy. This is spoken in the Italian and the Slovenian language with English subs. Released in the year 2013, directed by Lorenzo Bianchini, and this film is called Across the River. So Across the River is set on the border of Italy and Slovenia. This guy who's an ecologist is doing a study on the animals living in the woodlands. So he goes to these woodlands and he becomes lost because there's a storm that hits and his path back home has been um, cut off. So he has to seek refuge in this abandoned village, and what he doesn't realise is that this village has a history that is linked to two girls who were sisters who were very unfairly dealt with in the past. So their spirits may be haunting this village and may be putting this ecologist's life in grave danger. So as the movie progresses, he doesn't know whether or not he's going insane or in fact something is there that is basically um, harassing him and causing him to lose his mind. So whether or not that's the case, it's something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I go in with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Across the River, I thought this was a very good film and I can see a lot of people hating it because it's a very slow burning film but I thought it paid a lot of respect to films of the past such as Alfred Hitchcock, you know the build up, a lot of these films these days the build up is there but then they lose it because they feels that I, it, it feels that they run out of patience and they think that what they're doing is not good enough and so there's lack of confidence in a lot of horror films but I thought Lorenzo Bianchini in Across the River delivers a very good film in that it's very... Um, it pays a lot of attention to the minor details. So it's a very subtle film. It creeps up on you atmospherically. It's absolutely brilliant. I thought the overall setting was very, very haunting. You don't know exactly what's happening in, in this village, but you know something is really bad. So the impending doom was always there. And it feels like it's just slowly adding up to a very thrilling climax. And towards the end, it does go down a very you know horror sort of approach. But until then, I thought the build-up was very good. It's a very, very slow-burning film. So for that reason, I see a lot of people not appreciating this. But if you're like me, and you like films that remind you of films of yesteryear in that you have a very slow build up it's got very very limited jump scares it's got very limited sort of ghost appearances it's all about what you can't see and I think that to me that's uh, the type of horror that is very very hard to do I thought the acting was quite good although the dialogue is very limited because there's only really one one character in the whole film I thought when you see this character you believe him you, uh, the body language is very good and as I said it doesn't really require a lot of uh, dialogue so it just it makes it a different kind of a approach to an actor in that you get to tell a story through his body uh, body language and I thought it was pretty good. There were moments in the film I didn't really like, I thought it dragged a little bit here and there and I thought the side story of the Slovenian couple was there for convenience, I thought that the only reason that these two were in the film was to say what was going on, because there was only one character in the film for the most of it, you don't get told what the story is about, but the Slovenian couple, it cuts to their house for a little bit and they're connected to this village and you feel to yourself, well you've just added that in there just to give the audience some insight and some control of the film, I thought it would have been a lot better if they were cut out and it was just focusing mainly on this ecologist and so, but that isn't a big criticism as I said, it's good to see that films like this still exist and directors are still with to give a shot at something that is going to be criticised by a lot of people, but for me, as far as a horror fan is concerned, I really liked it, and therefore I am going to be recommending this film. So overall, for Across the River, I'm going to give it three and a half stars, and it's coming highly recommended. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Until next Friday, keep watching horror, and I'll see you later.